Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Kate, listen, have another tool here for you. And while there's a lot of tools out there, um, there's only I'm only going to bring you tools that I like and I like to use in my business. And, and uh, if I think the tools are going to make a difference in someone else's business, um, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Please comment. Let me know what are you looking for? What do you like about the tool? If there's any areas or anything like that. And again, I'm only I, I pick up a lot of tools. I those are just your first time to my channel. I run a couple of different brands. I have an agency for other um, clients as well. So I'm always looking at different tools uh, on how to create efficiencies in my practice and the practice of some of my clients. So ran across this tool called Social Juice, right? And I have another testimonial platform. Actually, I think I have two. One of them wasn't designed for testimonials but I turned it into testimonials and it's not as conducive and people are like, okay, so what is this? Um, so this is a tool by the name of social juice, right? And um, I like what they're doing. Some of the new tools that are coming out, they're giving you what you want in an older tool that should be updated and they're bringing that new stuff to you. So some of the tools I have went back and looked at, and this is one of those tools I wanted to look at. Um, it's called Social Juice. And let me just show it to you real quick. I'm not gonna hold you long. Uh, I wanna make this a quick, short video. Um, it's, a, it's a tool for testimonials, right? Normally when you finish working with a client, um, and I'll just give this out as I give out in my classes and some of my master classes, people say, how do you get so many testimonials? I have a lot of testimonials, right? And how I get them, I get them right after the service is completed. I don't wait a week later, two weeks later. It's part of my thank you follow-up email series sequence. And it takes them to a page where they can say, hey, you know what? This is the service that I experienced and so on and so forth. Now, I'll just give you this quick bonus. And I, and just even for listening to this video, I've been trying to over deliver the last couple of days as for my, fiasco on my live. Um, but what I do is I ask them three questions and that's all you have to do. So that's one of the keys to testimonials because a lot of people don't know how to give testimonials, right? And so he says, Hey, can you name three things you liked about our experience? Or you can you name at least people can name at least three things if they genuinely enjoyed your experience. And I think social juice is good. Um, and I think you could upload it up to a three minute video. I always tell people, hey, 60 seconds is enough, right? Because they start rambling and start talking about things you don't want them to talk about. So I always say, hey, just 60 second video. That's part of the email that I send. Um, if you like an email, if you if you're part of my community, I will put up a post up there and I'll give you my exact email script that I use. I get videos. I never had anyone turn me down. OK, so um, so this is social juice, right? And we'll look at it since I'm here. We'll just look at the plans. Um, so the plans here is you have a tier one, which is five workspaces, 30 video testimonials per workstation. So tier two, $99, you can get 20 workstations and 50 videos per workstation, three minutes, unlimited textual. And then you have the opportunity here to remove social juice branding. I always at least like the option to remove branding just in case how I want to deploy that tool. So if you give me that, I'm going to take it. If I see that, I'm starting to give you some of the things that I look for in deals. If I see the option to remove it, then I want, I'll want i pay for that option. It's a $50, basically a $50 option. And then you can do animated gift thumbnails, right? The, the way you do the animated gift thumbnails is um, you can animate a gift thumbnail for somebody to, to actually, um, you can send that in a um, email. Right. And she can do that and then have people click on it. OK, so that's one of the things. But I'll, this is basically you're paying fifty dollars for additional another 20 workspaces. I mean, another 15 workspaces and another um, another 20 video testimonial spots. Right. Um, and then they have they always have the unlimited, right? The unlimited workspaces, unlimited video testimonials, three minutes. I always measure what I'm going to get for unlimited. And is it worth the pay or is it worth the, worth the jump? This is a $50 bonus to pay for unlimited with no cap, right? And if I see something like this, this is fair. I would probably pay 
in this particular instance, I would probably pay for the unlimited. That's just me because of the way I want to deploy it. That means I can deploy it in a several different ways. If I have unlimited workstations, I can spread that out across several brands. If I have unlimited workspaces and I have the option to remove the branding, then I can create and get several brands from that. And that's exactly what I did here. So let me show you. Um, let's go inside. Let's take a look. So this is what I did. I have, I was, I've been able to set up two different, two of my brands. Obviously I can set up unlimited, but I set up two of my different brands that I do a lot of work for a lot of, uh, B to C and a lot of B to B work. I do a lot of in both of these, right? Um, and so I can always create a new one, right? This is two of, I guess, infinity, right? Because I can create, I have unlimited, so I can create a new workspace. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So you can just put the company name and then you can put the public link here. And I think they're working on something that's going to allow you to, to get a couple of domains. I'm not for certain on that. I have to go back and look at the notes, but I'm okay with the socialjuice.io because what a lot of people fail to realize is if this particular company has um, um, domain presence or if their domain is um, their, their domain is going to be a lot better than mine, or if not, then I may have a stronger domain name and just use a subdomain. But a lot of times I don't really care because if I'm promoting it and then once people see it, if they like it, then I'll either share the affiliate link that they give you in here, or I'll give them the opportunity to, um, you know, see with the domain. And then a lot of times they see with the domain they, and they figure it comes from a creditable company. A lot of people don't think that you own the company anyway, in some instances, and it really just depends on the tool. All right. So, uh, we will go back. So this is the one I created and, um, let's take a look at it right here. So let's go into uh, marketing systems here. So we are inside, uh, marketing systems here. And this is kind of what it looks like when someone leaves a testimonial for you. I had a client leave me a testimonial just the other day and I wanted to test this out and see how it worked. And, um, it works pretty good. Um, you can embed, you can use a QR code, right? You can say, um, Hey, create and download a QR code that leads to a testimonial collection page, right? So we can tell somebody, Hey, look at my testimonials and they can actually, you can create a QR code to do that, change the color background, uh, or you can upload, uh, or download the image as a JPEG. So people can use that. Um, you can embed it. Um, you can embed your videos into what's called a carousel. So a carousel, you've probably seen them on Facebook or something. It's the, it's where you can, uh, rotate, like you press the arrow to the right and it rotates to the next testimonial rotates to the next testimonial. So this allows you to actually do that. And I think you can only show three at a time. Uh, it's, you need at least three public testimonials to make a great carousel. So what they're saying there is, and then you can embed it here, here, you can, these little options here, you can hide the social juice branding here on the carousel as well. And then you can embed it, um, on these different types of, uh, setups, WordPress and or Shopify and so on and so forth. Right. So you can do that. Um, you can embed it. You can just have one wall. You can create a testimonial wall and do the same thing, right? So that's a carousel, but this is just a wall just full of testimonials. Same concept here. I don't have enough in this one. I wanted to put a video out, but I don't have enough in here to actually, um, show you what the wall looks like. I'll probably come back and do a second, um, uh, video to show you that, but this has, um, this is embed and you can use, I guess it's using a, a iframe, if you will, to create a page. And so then what you can do is of course you can show all the testimonies here when you get a lot of them. Um, you can share on Facebook, which I think is neat and clever. So this comes up and I'm going to show you where this, this cover came from, but this is where, if I just wanted to share it on Facebook that I obviously populate on my page and I don't think you can embed videos. I think of a certain nature. I think you have to have, yeah, Twitter does theirs a little bit different, right? And they'll show you this snippet here or they'll just give the link. 
So theirs is a little bit funny. I have to figure that out. And then LinkedIn, I don't think my LinkedIn is set up or anything like that. You can copy the link and so on and so forth. You can actually configure. Now this is the actual page where people land to, they land on this page and, and this is your actual page that people land on to upload and then do their video, right? And so this is, this is my page. You can put your logo there. You can remove um, the branding if you want, hide it the social juice branding you can move that and this is a background image that they say you can use uh, 1200 to 786 uh page is public right you want people to be able to see the page uh and you can allow pre-recorded video uploads i think that was something that they were working on and it got that done allowed uh text testimonials as well and this is what the page will say once they go there it says hey this is the welcome message we want, we want you to be as honest, transparent as you can be. Therefore, our clients to speak of us would be willing to leave us an honest testimonial. So you can change this, right? You can edit that. See, you can edit that. And then it tells you here, don't forget to save. And then this is the, the testimonial subject suggestions. How, how has our contribution helped you out? And like I said, my earlier statement, I would like to say, hey, name, can you name three things where, you know, can you name three things about our company that helped you move forward or helped you have a breakthrough in your company business or success? And I always give them a number three. And then people say, hey, you know what? There's three things I love about working with Jenny and or his companies. Uh, one, I like this. And two, what's going to happen on the three things? And this is juice right here. I'm going to give you what's going to happen. They're going to say some of the same things. Why? So if you have seven testimonials where at least one of the three things are consistent across all um, seven testimonials, then they'll say, well, there's nothing about it. He's committed to the seeing the job through. And then the next person says, hey, Jenny's committed to seeing. That's a consistency. So no one's making that up. You don't know these seven random people that are going to all get together and say the same exact things about you. Right. And so that's that's why I always give them at least three, right? And then you'll hear that. And people are genuine when they leave them. And then you can say, this is what you require on the personal information. Hey, I, I at least ask for an email and I say it's required, right? And so you can do that or you can ask for a job title. Um, you can ask for an image, right? Or you can ask for a company name or job. You can make them required, right? And then this is what your thank you page will say. Hey, thanks. We really appreciate you took the time to give us this. You can have your exit button and this is what this is attention to detail because I like that you can have the exit button from them leaving their testimonial. You can put here what you wanted to see. This says follow us on Facebook and then you can just put your Facebook link here. You can be follow us on Twitter and you can put your Twitter link here or find more exciting deals and you can just put your deal page there or get a $50 coupon and you can put that to the coupon page or something like that or share a friend and then you tie that in with one of your other um, tools that you may have to do referrals or something like that. So, um, yeah. And so that's how the page. So now let me take you. And so this plays back in here. I pull my testimonials down. I don't like to use raw testimonials. I like to pull them down and edit them. I like to add their name and do some different things, do some fade ins and fade outs. That's just me. I don't like putting up raw uh, testimonials. I like to pull them down, edit them, and then re-upload them. So in this particular case, you can re-upload testimonials. So let's look at what the actual marketing page looks like. So this is my marketing page that I created. I showed you what it looked like on the side over there. This is one of the guides that I have um, that I do. So this is my marketing uh, brand here. And again, like it says here, hey there, we want you to be honest. This is the same language that goes there. And then they, they can record a video testimonial or they can write a testimonial, right? I don't even know if I want right there. I kind of just want to record there because I can always get a written one. And then they go and then let's take a look at here. So you can do that. And then once they upload it, this is what it looks like. And it says, thank you. And so that's the end of that. So. Again, this is a nice little tool. Video testimonies are very, very powerful in a world of a whole bunch of noise. If someone takes the time out to leave you a video testimony, that says a lot about you and your practice and what you do. So again, this is Jenny Jones, uh, Digital Growth Hacks Club. I'm always giving you these little tidbits, these little, little secret hacks to help you grow your business 
and increase your bottom line. Please like and share. Uh, please like and share. Um, until next time, you guys take care. Goodbye for now.